that you are safe <laughs> um, and you plan to not speak to that person again the next day, then, you know, it's, it's really up to them. Uh, sorry, for the last three years, you have been the most searched person on Google. Uh, what is it that still makes you the most popular person in India right now? Um, Seriously asking that? <laughs> I'm, I don't know. You'll have to ask, you know, the, the people out there, the fans out there. But I do have to say that it is such an amazing feeling. It's something that, you know, we work all year long. I work really, really hard. I try my hardest. Um, I know that this isn't, an this isn't an industry that's, I guess, easy to get into. Um, and to have this success amongst the fans is my biggest gift, it's my biggest reward, and keep Googling. <laughs> well, since we're on the subject, I'd like to ask you, when was the last time you Googled yourself? <laughs> um, it's been a while. Um, you know what, I, the only time I Google myself is when I see what everybody's writing about me. Um, to see what the updates are on news. I nice. scroll through the bad articles and I skip those and read the good ones. I don't think it's about being ahead of politics at all. I just one person. I think that it's an honor to be on the same list as someone like him, and uh, I believe Salman Khan was next on the list. Um, I think that it's an honor. Um, I don't think it's about me being ahead of politics at all. Um, it's, it's just the way that it happened, I guess. I'm sure he'll beat me next year because he's going to win over every single heart in India. So everybody will Google him. Hi, Sandy. My question is that as everybody is rightly saying you are not only Bollywood or the film industry of India, but people of India have accepted you, welcomed you with open arms. So you still feel like an outsider or kind of what is like, how do you feel in India now after so many years down the uh, line in India? So do you still feel like outsider or India is your home now? Um, First of all, I just want to say you look like Santa's little helper. <laughs> Thank you. You're so tiny. Um, I love it here. Um, this morning, I just got a new car. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Um, and I have moved into a new flat. I've, I've adjusted to everything that's here in India, and I love it. Um, do I feel like an outsider? Sometimes, yeah, of course. Um, my New Year's resolution is to be more social this year <laughs> because I have been working so much. I don't go out, I don't go to parties, I don't go to events, um, you know, where it's just purely socializing. So um, that's, that's my New Year's resolution, whoever was going to ask. Um, but I'm pretty comfortable here now. What makes you feel outsider, as you said, sometimes you do? I think it's... I think it's the idea that people are still a little curious about who I am, so they don't always want to approach. Uh, but again, I guess that would be my fault because they don't go out much, so that I, of course, I'm going to feel like an outsider a little bit. But I think slowly I'll, I'll get in touch with, um, you know, different people that I've been working with this year, which is a lot, um, and make more friends. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think I could gift a man who has everything in life. <laughs> I think that when he snaps his finger, whatever he wants arrives. Um, the only thing that I could think of is, I hope you had a wonderful year. Happy, happy birthday. I wish you all the success in the world. And God bless you and your family. Uh, hi, Sunny. Uh, since it's the Christmas time, so if you get a chance to dress someone for, uh, like Santa, who would it be and what gift you would like to receive from him, him or her? Um, if I could be Santa, who would I want to give a gift to? Uh, if you get a chance to dress someone like Santa Claus, who would it be and like, what uh, gift you would like to receive? Uh, first, first of all, I'd be Mrs. Claus and Mr. Weber would be Santa Claus. <laughs> and, um, uh, the only thing that I would want uh, for Christmas is just 
my family, I guess. Actually, my Mrs. Claus and Mr. Claus, um, my husband and I, we just gifted ourselves a new car this year. So uh, that was our gift to each other. और सनी कटरीना ने अपनी शुरुआत बॉलीवुड में बहुत बोल्ड फिल्मों से की आपकी भी शुरुआत वैसे हुई आपको लगता है कितनी इंस्पायर्ड और बाकी मैं आपको लगता है कि आप वो मुकाम हासिल कर लेंगी कटरीना को जो मुकाम बॉलीवुड में हासिल है अभी um can you i didn't hear the second part of your question uh kateena aur aapki shuruaat bold filmon se hi hui career ki jo shuruaat hui bollywood mein aur aap kitni inspire hain aur aapko lagta hai ki kateena bhi ek bahut bade level pe aa gayi aap us mukam ko chhu lengi bollywood mein kitna waqt lag jayega well she's been in the industry for a very long time and works uh very very hard to get where she is um everybody has their own journey so i don't think that her journey or my journey would ever be the same um God willing, uh, I become just as popular as she is. Um, but I do think that it takes a lot of hard work, and I think when people see this movie, One Night Stand, they'll get to see a different side. I mean, obviously, as you know, the sexy parts are there in the movie. But um, we're hoping the producer, the director, Tanuj, everybody that's a part of this movie, we're hoping that people will fall in love with the story. And more than anything, which is what I love the most, it's thought provoking and. Even just when I was at rehearsal the other day, I brought up the just the basic plot of this, and it brought up such an amazing conversation. And I said, "Bingo! This is why they have written such a story to create this conversation." So for me, what I got out of it was, if this conversation can be created after somebody watches the promos or after they watch the movie, then our mission was complete, which was to make a.